this ain't that bad. Afternoon. I, I am actually, yeah. I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. I didn't do anything to them. What about their camp? That wasn't me, you know that. Don't get defensive. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah, I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Will do. Oh, okay. We're just jumping a lot of days here. Henry. Henry, wake up. Yep, I'm awake. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Yep, will do. What do you want? You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Wait, what is Julia? Uh... Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. What? I... I don't even know what's going on. Did she call me? Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. So, like, two weeks ago you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and... All I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, uh, look, so a couple of months before I took this job, I <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. Um, he was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. 
and I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Whoops. Waltz was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Wow. I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. I guess. So, which one of these are mine? I'm two forks, right? Yep. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Whoa. It's like a month. We just went a month. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? So, no ideas, huh? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. <laughs> so there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. If I was there with you, I'm sure I would like it a lot. Uh oh, shit, that was not what Are I you meant. looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but... When the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. It'd be nice to be near somebody. We could talk without these radios. We could, um, uh -oh. you know. What? What could we do? <coughs> Play dumb. Hey, dumb. Ah, shit. Okay, this is not good. I mean, poor, poor, uh... You're going fishing uh, without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. The fuck is happening with this Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Huh. 
problem bear. Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now what am I supposed to do? I, d I didn't follow shit. Give me something to do. Please. Bear tracks, okay. Let's see. Maybe there's some over here. Oh, was that a sweater? Oh yeah. Ah oh, yeah, I'm going to wear this sweater. Take it. No. Okay. Drop it. Yeah. Can we do that? What do you say, Ron? Got some bad news back house. So hopefully they let me out here for a while. Who has to say? The budget being. Yeah, you can read this if you want. Sure, I'll um, I'll keep this. Close this. So, bear tracks. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shithouse. We'll get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. Oh, shit. Oh, Delilah, there's a big chain-link fence between me and the meadow. I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Not good. Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. 